Welcome back to another crochet tutorial with Cozy Rosy UK and today I am showing you how to make your very own octagon pinwheel square. A bit of an oxymoron I feel like saying that it's going to be an, an octagon, a square, who knows what it is but I am super happy with how this square turns out um, and I know that you're absolutely going to love it. Now before we get started don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell so that you never miss out another one of my crochet tutorials again. This square is being released as part of the HodgePodge Blanket Crochet Along. If you've missed any of the other squares that are featured in this event, you can find a link in the description box that will take you through to the roundup of all 30 squares as they are released. And you can pick and choose which ones you want to make. There's lots of different granny squares there for you to choose from. You'll also find a link in the description box that will take you through to the written pattern for this exact square as well. Let's find out the materials we need to make our very own octagon pinwheel. So the materials you're going to need to make your own octagon pinwheel square is any worsted or Aran weight yarn. I'm using my paint box yarn, Simply Aran. This is a size four and my favourite shade, the bubblegum pink, which is shade number 250. I've got my five millimetre streamline, wooden streamline from Furls that I'm going to be using, which corresponds as the recommended hook size for this yarn. I've also got my darning needle and a pair of scissors ready to crack on with this square. Now we don't need an awful lot of material with this square, I think it's about 55 metres, which really isn't very much at all and it's quite a quick one to do as well. So gather all of your materials and let's get started. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and placing that onto our hook. Once that's secure we're going to start by making a chain of five. So we yarn over the hook and bring that through five times, three, four and five. And we're going to slip stitch to that first chain that we made, we're just inserting our hook under one of those loops, yarning over, pull through and straight through the loop on your hook. And that's going to create a little ring for us to work into. In case you can see that top where we've just slip stitched, you have to try and ignore that one. We're going for that bigger hole in the middle. We then make a chain of six. Now this chain six counts as a treble crochet and a chain two. Now that's a US treble crochet, which is the same as a UK double treble. So we chain six, so we yarn over and bring our hook through the loop on our hook six times. So that's two, three, four, five and six and then we're going to work into the center of this ring by working a treble crochet and a chain two so a us treble crochet or a uk double crochet you wrap the yarn around the hook twice and then we're going to insert our hook into the center of that ring so underneath that top hole we're going into the center we yarn over to bring our loop up so we now have four loops on our hook yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two, and then finally yarn over and pull through the last two. We then make our chain of two, and then that corresponds to that starting chain of six that we made. So we end up with eight of these treble crochets or the equivalent. So we wrap the yarn around the hook twice, insert the hook into that center of that ring again, Yarn over to bring up our fourth loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two, and then finally yarn over and pull through the last two, followed by a chain of two. We're wrapping the yarn around that hook twice, insert the hook and repeat that US treble crochet again, followed by a chain two. So we now have one, two, three, four. We need another four. So we need to do our chain of two and then we're ready to do our next treble crochet. Followed by a chain two again. And then we're just gonna repeat that all the way around until we have eight of those treble crochets coming out of the center. Chain two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need two more. And 
This is the final one, I think. Chain two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Done our chain two. And then we're going to slip stitch to join this round into the fourth chain that we made. So one, two, three, and four, leaving that chain two space. So we're just going to insert our hook under two loops of that fourth chain to slip stitch to join. And that creates our pinwheel. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we have eight treble crochets and eight chain two spaces in between them. If you want, you can pull your centre closed if you've worked around your, your strand of yarn, which I thought I had, oh, I had, there we go. And that will close the centre of that ring and make it look a little bit more circular. So going into round two, we're gonna slip stitch into that chain two space so that we're ready to start the next round. So once we've slip stitched into that chain two space, we start by making a chain of four. One, two, three, and four. And that counts as one treble crochet. Once we've made our chain four, we're going to work a further four treble crochets into that chain, that same chain two space. So we wrap the yarn around the hook twice insert our hook into the same space that that chain two is coming out of, sorry, chain four is coming out of, and then work our US treble crochet by yarning over and pulling through three times. And we do that so we end up with a total of five treble crochets coming out. So three more times from here. And a final time. So one, two, three, four, and five. We're then going to make a chain of two, and then into each of these spaces around, we're going to work five treble crochets. So we wrap the yarn around the hook twice and insert before completing that treble crochet. We're going to do this into each of these spaces around and in between each of those five treble crochets we're going to work a chain of two to create another chain space. One, two, three, four, five and then we do our chain of two. So continue to repeat that all the way around, working five treble crochets, US treble crochets, into that chain two space, followed by a chain of two. And I'll meet you back in our last, I want to say pie slice, because it does look a little bit like a Trivial Pursuit pie, doesn't it? So continue to work all the way around to complete round two, and I'll meet you ready to join. Once you've worked your eighth block of five treble crochets and you've done your final chain two, we're gonna slip stitch to the top of that starting chain of four that we made to join that round. And that completes round two. So at the end of round two, you should have a total of 40 treble crochets and eight chain two spaces. Going into round three, we're going to start working into our stitches. So we don't just slip stitch into anything, we've already slip stitched into this first stitch that we're working in. And we're gonna start by making that chain of four, which does count as our first treble crochet. And then we're gonna work one treble crochet into each of the next four stitches. So we wrap that yarn around the hook twice, and then we're inserting our hook into that next stitch to complete a treble crochet on top of the previous round. So that's one, two, and three, and four. Now into this chain two space, we're going to work one treble crochet and 
a chain two and a further treble crochet into that same chain two space. We're then going to work one treble crochet into each of the next five stitches before we repeat what we've just done in the next chain two space. Remembering to wrap that yarn around the hook twice, work one treble crochet into each of the next five stitches. And then once we've reached our chain two space, we work one treble crochet, followed by a chain of two and a further treble crochet into that same chain two space. So we're going to repeat that all the way round into each of the next five stitches. We're going to work one treble crochet, followed by one treble crochet, chain two, and a further treble crochet. Repeat that all the way round to the end of the round, and I'll meet you back ready to join at the end of round three. So I'm just going to join to the top of that chain four that we started the round with. So at the end of round three, you should have a total of 56 treble crochets and eight chain two spaces and I must admit the one good thing about these treble crochets is how big they work up so quickly we've only done three rounds and we've got quite a large octagon here we're going to go into round four and this time we're just going to make a chain of one we're then going to work one half double crochet into the same stitch as that chain one because that chain one does not count as a stitch we're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Then into the next chain two space, we're going to work one half double crochet, a chain one, followed by a double crochet, a US double crochet. We're then going into the next two stitches, we're going to work a double crochet. So that's one and two. And then we're going to work one treble crochet into the next. We're then going to make a chain of six. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to skip one stitch. Once we've made our chain of six, we're going to skip one stitch. We've worked into that one. We're skipping this one and working into the next one, working one treble crochet. So believe it or not, I've only wrapped the yarn around the hook twice there. So we're skipping this one and working into the next, working one treble crochet. There we go. So that's given us a nice big space. Don't worry, we're going to reshape that when we do the next round. And then we come back down the stitch sizes again. So we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then we work one double crochet into so this is into the chain two space now we work a double crochet a chain one and a half double crochet we're then going to work one half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches which will take us all the way over to our next chain two space where we repeat um, this stitch again so one half double crochet into each of the next seven and I'll meet you for the next chain two space. So into our next chain two space, we're going to repeat what we did before. We've already had a little spy at what we're doing. We are flattening it off and creating a corner. So into this chain two space here, 
we're going to work a half double crochet followed by a chain one we then work one double crochet into the same chain two space a chain one and then we work a double crochet into the same chain two space and we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches we're then going to work one treble crochet into the next stitch followed by a chain of six that's one two three four five and six we're going to get our hook ready to work our next treble crochet we're skipping the next stitch and working into that next one again Ooh. got myself confuddled and twisted here just need to come through that Oof, there we go chain got a bit out of control there and then we come back down again in those stitch sizes so into the next stitch we're working a double crochet and then into our chain two space we work one double crochet a chain one and another half double crochet and we're back to the beginning of that repeat again so we've got going to do this two more times now that you've done two of them can you see what's starting to happen? Or well, maybe you can't, but you imagine there's another corner there. So we're gonna have four of these at the end. So what we're gonna do is repeat what we've just done again twice more. So let's work those together. So we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Then into the next chain one, sorry, next chain two space, we're going to work a half double crochet, a chain one, followed by a double crochet. We then work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, followed by a treble crochet into the next. We're then going to work a chain of six, five and six, double wrap my yarn, ready to skip the next stitch and work a treble crochet into the next one along. I'm going to not make that mistake again, tidy it up before I go. There we go. We then work back down again, so we're working a double crochet into the next two. Into that next chain two space, we work a double crochet, chain one, half double crochet into that same chain two space. Come on, nearly there. Just got one more repeat to do. So we start by making one half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. So once we've worked those seven half double crochets into the chain two space, we work one half double crochet. A chain one followed by a double crochet one double crochet into each of the next two stitches followed by a treble crochet we're then going to make our chain of six four five six I'm going to double wrap my hook ready i've got two on there nope Ready to work, I'm going to skip that next one, working into the next with a treble crochet. And we come back down for a final time, so one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Into that final chain two space, one double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Then we just need to work one double crochet into the top of that first stitch, that last stitch, sorry. And then we're ready to slip stitch to join to end round four. So let's have a little look to see what we've made so far. Well, that's looking a decidedly more square, is it not? So we only have one more round to go, believe it or not. And we're going to start our round five with a chain of one. 
And what we're going to work is into each stitch and each chain one space around, so in between these two here, we're going to work one half double crochet. So let's do that first part together. So we work one half double crochet into each, to the same as our chain one, and then into each stitch around and into each chain one space. That's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oops. Oh no, that's the chain one space again, is it? Yeah. And seven, and then into that chain one space, we work another half double crochet. We're going to work one half double crochet into these next stitches as well. That's one, two, three, and four. And then into our chain six space, we're going to work three half double crochets. So that's one, two, oops, and three, and a chain of three, one, two, three, and a further three half double crochets into that same chain six space. Two, and three. So that's going to give us our final corner. And here's our edge here as well. So it's all looking pretty nice and square here. So we're going to continue to work around working one half double crochet into each stitch and into each chain one space around. We're then into each of these chain six spaces, we're going to work three half double crochets, chain three, and a further three half double crochets. So continue to work around and I'll meet you for our last section of our final round of round five. We just worked one half double crochet into that final chain one space and I have one more half double crochet to work until I'm back to where I started for round five. So I'm just gonna slip stitch to that first stitch that we made and there we have our completed pin wheel square i am a huge huge fan of this square um i love how quick it works up and most definitely you're going to see this featured in a summer cardigan or two i can assure you i'm going to make that one at the top of my list to get finished for you so i just fastened off i've made a little chain one i have pulled that through with my hook and that completes the octagon pinwheel square. So the stitch count for row five, in case you needed to know, I'm just assuming I've got mine correct, is gonna be 100 half double crochets and four chain three spaces. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I've certainly enjoyed designing this square. Um, I'm gonna be back with you tomorrow with another of our granny squares as part of the hodgepodge blanket crochet along. Until then, keep it cozy.